Hey Earth Nerds, and welcome to an exciting educational journey through the water cycle. Join us as we splash into the world of water and unlock the secrets of its transformative journey on Earth. From droplets in the ocean to floating clouds in the sky, we're about to witness the incredible cycle that sustains life. So let's dive in. At the heart of our planet's interconnected systems lies the water cycle, an endless fascinating process that ensures the circulation and availability of water. From the oceans to the atmosphere, and even underground, water is constantly on the move. The water cycle consists of several key processes, but the three main ones are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Together, they create a beautiful choreography that brings us the gift of water every single day. Our journey begins with evaporation, where the sun's energy turns liquid water into invisible vapor. This process occurs when the sun's warmth causes water molecules to gain energy, break free from their liquid state, and rise as an invisible gas into the air. Evaporation takes place not only from oceans and lakes, but also from rivers, moist soils, and even plants. It's the Earth's natural purification system. As the water vapor rises into the cooler upper atmosphere, it begins to cool down. Here, we witness the magical transformation of water vapor back into liquid form through a process called condensation. The water molecules come together around tiny particles in the air called condensation nuclei, forming tiny droplets that create clouds. These clouds come in various shapes and sizes, painting the sky with their grace. The water droplets in the clouds are too small to fall from the sky. Instead, they are suspended in the air due to their weight. When enough water molecules have condensed onto a particle, the weight becomes too much for that particle, and it falls. Now, get ready for a spectacular show as we witness nature's waterworks, precipitation. When clouds become saturated with water vapor, the droplets within them grow larger, eventually becoming too heavy to remain aloft. Precipitation falls back to the earth, nourishing plants, replenishing bodies of water, and sustaining life in every corner of our planet. Once the water reaches the earth's surface, two important processes take place, runoff and infiltration. Runoff occurs when excess water flows over the land, creating creeks, streams, and rivers. It eventually finds its way back to the oceans. Meanwhile, infiltration occurs when water seeps into the ground, replenishing underground reservoirs known as groundwater. This hidden treasure of water is vital for plants, animals, and even our own water supply. Water is the elixir that sustains all forms of life on Earth, from the tiniest microorganism to the mighty redwood tree. Every living being relies on water for survival. It is a continuous and balanced process, continually cycling and redistributing to different geographic locations around the world. As we conclude this wonderful journey, let us reflect on the inspiring importance of water. It sustains life, shapes our planet's climate, and nourishes our body. Until next time, Earth nerds, stay curious, stay fascinated, and keep exploring the wonders of our extraordinary planet.